Hi, my name is Karina Svensson, and I work with the University College South in Denmark. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about one of the coolest things in the Duet project, the toolbox. With all the pilot activities and workshops that has been done all over Europe, we created, iterated and described quite a collection of tools for use in our online toolbox. And with the Duet Toolbox, you can get inspiration and find methods and tools that can help you create a social innovation project. So first off, let's hop over to my computer and find the toolbox. You'll find the Duet Toolbox on the website duet-europe.net. Once you're here, you'll see a lot of cool things here at the top of the navigation. But for today's video, let's just check out the toolbox. Once you're here, you can expand the whole toolbox map right here in the corner. Now, you start out here in the info center. This box tells you a lot about what you can use the toolbox for and what you can find in here. So when you're done reading it, you can just close it here by the X in the corner. You can also drag the map around like this just by clicking and dragging your mouse around. As you see, we designed to do a toolbox as sort of a town or a neighborhood, if you will, filled with shops and the information center where it started, and also a library. All of the shops represents one of the seven steps in the Duet learning approach, but more on that later. Let's zoom out a bit so we can get a better look of things. Here. So in the Duet library, you'll find all of our tools collected in alphabetical order. And this is a great way to find a tool again quickly. You can also search for a tool here at the top bar if you know the specific name of a tool. The last technical thing I want to show you is the filter function. As we designed the toolbox, we had both children and facilitators in mind. And this means that all of our tools can be filtered throughout age groups or even function. I think that's pretty nice. Now let's get to the fun stuff. As I told you before, we divided the toolbox up into these kind of shops. All the shops represent one of the seven steps in the Duet learning approach. We did this so that you can shop between the different types of tools depending on where you are in your process. We know that an innovative process isn't a linear one, and therefore we didn't think that the toolbox should be either. Some of the tools will be present in more than one shop, and this is because you can use it in more than one phase of your process. So let's try and find a tool. If I start by using the filter function down here, I want to see all the tools that are navigated towards the ages 6 to 10. Notice these numbers popping up next to the shops. This is an indicator of the number of tools that you can find in each phase for your current view. So let's try and see what happens if I also click Facilitator. See how it changes? Let's see. I want for my process here to find a tool in the Explore. Here I find all of the tools connected to the Explore phase. This is different kinds of brainstorm methods, even whole workshop descriptions, games, building exercises, a lot of cool stuff is in here. Let's try and look at the mapping the problem tool. Here you see a picture, the name of the tool, a short description of the tool and what you can use it for, and there's also indicators of the time frame, the group size, age groups, and the materials needed. And right here at the bottom you'll find all the downloadable resources, either PDFs, or even here you have laser cutter icons that you can download for your laser cutter. Let's try and download the description. Let's try and scroll through the PDF, and you'll see that you're getting a lot more details here. You're getting the aim of the tool, so you know what you're using it for, why we made this tool, and where we found inspiration, and also the preparations that you need to do before going into this whole activity. There's the activity where you can see the different steps to take and even 
questions you need to ask the children. And right here at the bottom, we have small tips for the facilitators, like keep up the pace, ask many questions, and so on. This specific tool was tested and developed during three iterations of the Do It Action from Waste to Invention by the Do It partner Vach. In a design process, it's important to have clear problem definition. It can be challenging to make concrete and precise problem definitions to work with, especially for more ab abstract concepts such as sustainability, which is spread globally and over time. This mapping tool is a method to map big societal issues like sustainability in order to make them more concrete and tangible. And the mapping tool creates sort of a physical and visual support to discuss the problem. By dividing the problem in smaller parts, you start seeing the relation between the parts that make up the problem. And this enables children to define the scope of their project and come up with problem definitions of one of the aspects. The mapping of the big societal issue creates a more shared understanding. This will enable children later on in the process to understand what the other groups are working on since they have already constructed the map together. And this tool will also be found in the sensitize and work together shops as it helps define an issue and also facilitates the cooperation between both children and facilitators in mapping out the problem. So it's a great and fun way of making a complex issue very tangible for even the youngest participants. Now, I'll let you go and explore more of these great tools in the toolbox. And remember, everything is open source, so please do use and share these with everybody who could use some inspiration. Thanks for watching.